I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, thank you. Roll call, Mrs. Mayor. I'd be happy to. Anita Zygosinski. Here. Um, I'm here. Lisa Collins. Here. Tim Menninger. Here. Gary Dunlap. Here. Tom Cruise, I believe, is excused. Yeah. Right? Jeff Young. I don't didn't hear from him. So. Okay. And Cheryl Hancock. Here. Okay, with six of seven school board members present, I would declare a quorum. Board norms and reflection, I would just note that our board norms are in your folder and to follow those as we um, go throughout the meeting. Approval of the agenda, I would note that the agenda has been posted, distributed, and sent to the local media. With this in mind, are there any changes? Seeing none, then I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda as published. So moved. Second? Is there a second? A second. Discussion? Okay, all those in favor of approving the agenda as published, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Public participation. Is there anyone who wishes to address the board relative to any item at this time? We ask that a five minute time period per person be followed. Please come forward, state your name, address, and topic to be addressed. I don't see anyone coming forward for that. Then moving on to reports and discussions of nutritional services, meal prices, Mr. Gasper. And as he's coming forward, I would like to welcome Dr. Mueller to her first board meeting um, on behalf of the board. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gasper. Good evening. Um, I do know there's a problem with the overhead projector, so you guys will have to watch the PowerPoint on the uh, TV in front of you. So sorry about that. Um, it's that time of year again when we have to discuss school meal prices. Um, as you know, we have several results measures that we uh, monitor on a consistent basis to ensure that we're um, hitting the, the targets that we'd like to hit. Um, you can see our percent participation. We compare ourselves to other districts here. Um, this is a lagging indicator. It, it is a year behind based on uh, when we can get the information from DPI. But as you can see, the um, uh, Mississippi Valley Conference average is 73.7 and we're at 100% last year. So um, that's looking good. Um, this is a projected um, where we're going to be with our fund balance um, once the auditors are completed uh, doing what they have to do this year. Um, we'll be right at our upper limit, give or take a little bit, uh, but that's, uh, that's a healthy thing. Um, Nutritional value we track. We track the, uh, the calories of the average meal in the high school, middle school, and elementary school. Um, you can see those lines are the maximum allowable um, by DPI and the USDA. Um, and we're under on, in all three categories. Um, but not by a lot, which is good. Um, we also need to be under 10% saturated, saturated fats uh, as a percent of total calories. And as you can see there, again, we're meeting that uh, nutritional results measure. <laughs> Um, we also track local districts pricing uh, for breakfast. You can see with what we're going to propose uh, here in a second, we will be 14 cents under um, the average breakfast charge uh, for the Mississippi Valley Conference. And then at lunch, we'll be 7 cents lower um, after the recommendation that I'll be giving you here in a second. Um, just a couple of reminders for you. The Healthy Hungry Free Kids Act of 2010 um, put in place a minimum meal price requirement. Um, it's mandated. Uh, and basically what it says is that you have to charge, on average, the difference between a free meal reimbursement minus the paid meal reimbursement, which that number is $2.70 this year. Um, right now our average in the district was $2.51. Um, so we're required by law to get up to that $2.70. However, we're not mandated to increase the meal price by more than 10 cents if we choose not to. Uh, and based on um, those uh, results measures that you saw, um, we're proposing no change of breakfast. Breakfast is not mandated by the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act as far as pricing goes. So we're going to stay at $1.50. Um, and then uh, for lunch, uh, we're going to propose just the, the minimum 10 or 10 cent uh, increase. So we would go from uh, K through 5 would go from 235 to 245. Uh, 6 through 12 would go from 265 to 275. 
and then the adult meals will go from 335 to 345. However, uh, we still believe that it's uh, a very good value for our customers uh, when you look at uh, um, the pricing of the other districts and uh, the different offerings that we have uh, within our program. Any questions? Are there any questions? What is the penalty if we would not follow the Healthy Kids Act and not raise the 10 cents? I believe you would lose your funding, okay. which would be That's over $600,000. It's a pretty steep penalty. Yeah. It <laughs> would not be a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? Any other questions? Not after that one. Okay. <laughs> and I think this is to be acted on at the next meeting, correct? Yes, it's not on that's this, correct. This. So if you have any questions in the time being, please let Dr. Mueller know. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Um, and then board topics calendar. You received a copy of the board topics in um, <coughs> your packet, and it's pretty extensive. Um, it's in, in your Dropbox. Gary, you're looking like you don't. You didn't did you have a chance to take a look yep. at it okay so one of the things we've been doing in our board retreats and our board workshops is talking about what um, reports we're having at board meetings are they all necessary if you look at it Christina has it in the <clears throat> columns on the right hand side it says either annual it says that it's required by law statutorily that those kind of things are necessary to be there um, it talks of you know it just may be traditional that we do it annually so please and we're not going to talk about it tonight unless you are ready to if you want to talk about it but I think the reason it's on the agenda is so that we can start having those discussions um, I think it was the numbering on the left hand side one is January correct isn't that how you numbered it one is the first meeting of the month two is the second meeting okay of the month. but on so the, the way the it, first column has the months by number so one through 12 right and yeah then the that's second just distinguishes first or second meeting. second meeting so if you want to take a look at that as we're approaching September um, and October if there are things that you feel we could eliminate I know everybody's time is valuable if there are things um, dr. Mueller and I will be talking about this when we get together to look at the um, the agendas as we set agendas and so if you see things that eh, could be eliminated um, uh, please let me know that and then we will use that in developing the agendas and we may even be discussing it at a future workshop that we have so but I just wanted to familiarize you with that tonight so um, then under consent agenda we have four items under the consent agenda um, any of those items you'd like to have pulled out and considered separately seeing none then I would entertain a uh, motion to approve the consent agenda as presented so moved is there a second second and then dr. Mueller wanted to make a couple comments about one of the items yeah I just wanted to recognize we have two retirements um, at our board meeting tonight um, one is Randy Gardner. He's worked in the district for 41 years. He's been here since 1974. I actually had the pleasure of meeting him in my first week of work. What a very nice gentleman. Um, he's been a bus driver, custodian, and is our district cur courier recently um, in that. So we will definitely miss his service um, in the district. And then our, our other retirement is Dennis Hayek and he is a custodian at the middle school and has given 21 years of service um, i'm just so impressed with how long these um, individuals have served in the district it just it says a lot so thank you for their service yes. thank you so a motion has been made and seconded to approve the consent agenda as presented all those in favor please signify by saying aye aye, aye. opposed nay Motion carries. Then moving on to board member reports and discussions. Anita Jagosinski. I have nothing because we have had no committee meetings. Okay, Kate Mayer. I, no, 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 I, I take it back. Welcome Dr. Mueller, welcome oh, to your very first you. meeting. And <laughs> we're gonna try to make it really short. So. <laughs> thank you. Anita's the queen of short meetings. Oh, yes. So you need to know that, she's got the record. Okay. Kate. Um, Thank you to Nick Weber, who volunteered to serve on SALC. I look forward to him being a member um, of our committee. Um, condolences again to Rhea Masak and her two children, Danielle and Alex. Um, they lost Tom this past week, and so 
Just condolences. Um, and congrats to um, Mr. Gasper, the article about um, Mr. King and, and, oh, maybe he's gone already, but at least <laughs> it'll be on the record, um, was again just full of praise. And it makes me reminded how blessed we are here with such unique, state-of-the-art, kind of untouchable projects. They're, it's the model, not just in the state, but all around. So just congrats to them both. Great. Thank you, Kate. Um, Lisa Collins. Uh, not much else besides also, again, welcome. Glad to have you here, Dr. Mueller. And um, I happened to go to a lunch at the um, Home and Business Association this week, and um, I was surprised. Uh, well, they had said, well, the Home and School District, what's the update? I was just coming to have lunch with my husband there. Oh. But um, they would love to meet you. I did, I did mention that was probably the biggest thing going on in the district right now is that we have a new administrator, and they're all excited to meet you. I talked a little bit about your background from um, the La Crosse School District. So Thank you. They'd like to, those are good connections to make with the... With the I um, do plan on attending those. Um, <laughs> I made it to Rotary this week, which was a great <laughs> event. And my next my next feat is to get to the home and... Um, well, you've got a lot the first month or so, so <laughs> <Yeah>. they understand. <laughs> okay, thank you, Lisa. Uh, Tim Menninger. Uh, really uh, not a lot tonight as well, otherwise welcome, Dr. Mueller. Great to have you here. And then... Uh, we only have, after tonight, one more board meeting before fall sports begin. So. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Tim? Gary Dunlap? That's crazy. I'd like to uh, welcome Dr. Mueller as well and let her know that uh, I had a lot, of, a lot of teachers in the school district that came up to me and gave me one of these, you know. Oh. Good job, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, let everybody know pretty soon all the kids are going to be coming back to the buildings and on the fields. and all around the neighborhood so everybody be careful and keep your eyes open for those kids and have a lot of new uh, sophomore and junior drivers coming back so oh, yeah. it'll be interesting I'm sure like always <laughs> and then of course I have to mention that the Holman 14 under baseball team won the stars of tomorrow tournament yesterday not that not that my grandson being the shortstop has anything to do with that <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they did a great job and uh, so I want to send out a kudos to them that's it thank you Gary well, I just have a couple things. Um, I think many of you have hit on most topics. Nick Weber and um, Bob, I want to thank you for working on that Facebook page. I know I just wanted to say publicly that um, it, there was a Facebook page that alluded to being the Holman High School Facebook page. Actually has more likes than the official Holman High School Facebook <laughs> page. So that concerned me, but um, it was putting out some political um, information and it was funny because it was swinging one way and then when I made statements about that it's not um, the, an official Facebook page of the school district then it put a I think it was trying to be fair or something put up stuff to the other side and also supporting me and my school board run which I thought was funny um, but I also added my comment to that that this is not an official um, but I know that Nick and Bob were working on getting that taken down or changed and they finally tracked down with the help of Anita's daughter the family because they had interacted and you know it's just kind of funny but I it, it just reminds us that as we put stuff out and we develop those sorts of things, we want to make sure that we identify which pages are the official pages. And it was just kind of funny to, to have that come up. Um, there, the meeting in September, we're having some difficulty with this, and I don't want to say much more than I've accepted a position, which makes the Tuesday um, in September a bad day for me. The Wednesday, Dr. Mueller has something happening, and the next week, so we may have to look at that last week in September, first week in October, um, to do our board workshop um, with Dr. Mueller. Unfortunately, it keeps getting 